हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी प्रोग्राम द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी प्रोग्राम इज डिवाइडेड इनटू सिक्स पार्ट्स व्हिच मेक्स इट इजी टू रीड मॉडिफाई डॉक्यूमेंट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इन अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट देयर आर सिक्स बेसिक सेक्शंस रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द प्रॉपर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सेक्शन लिंक सेक्शन डेफिनेशन सेक्शन ग्लोबल डेक्लेशन सेक्शन मेन फंक्शन सेक्शन एंड सब प्रोग्राम सेक्शन द लिंक सेक्शन एंड मेन फंक्शन सेक्शन आर द कंपलसरी सेक्शन द रेस्ट आर ऑप्शनल इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी प्रोग्राम द फर्स्ट वन इज अ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सेक्शन दिस सेक्शन कंसिस्ट ऑफ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम the name of the program and the creation date and time of the program it is specified at the start of the program in the form of comments there are two types of comments are there single line comment and multi line comments in c programming single line comments can be written using two forward slash and we can create multi line comments using slash star which is followed by comment line then star slash then next is the link section all header files are included in this section a header file is a file that consists of c declaration that can be used between different files it help us in using other codes in our files a copy of this header file is inserted into your code before compilation if you want to assess the functions stored in the library it is necessary to tell the compiler about the files to be assessed this is achieved by using the preprocessor directive hash #include hash #include is a preprocessor directive and file name is the name of the library file that contain the required functions definition and preprocessor directives are always placed at the beginning of the program like hash #include stdio.h hash #include is a preprocessor directive stdio.h standard input output dot header file this is a header file for input output functions then hash #include conio.h this is a header file for console input output functions and hash include maths.h is a header file for mathematical functions then definition section the definition section define all the symbolic constants a preprocessor directive in c is any statement that begin with the hash symbol the hash define is the preprocessor compiler directive used to create constants in simple terms we can say hash define basically allow the macro definition which allow the use of constants in our program now in this case we have created a constant year which is assigned a value of 2014 generally upper case letters are preferred for defining the constants and the define statement does not end with the semicolon this is a important note then we have a global declaration section this section include all the global variables function declaration and static variables the variable declared in this section can be used anywhere in the program they are accessible to all the functions of the program that's why they are known as global variables the local variables are those variable which are declared inside the main function and the global variables are those variables which are declared outside the main function then main function section this is a compulsory section for every c program this section contain the main function of the code the c compiler start execution from the main function it can use global variables local variables inbuilt functions and user defined functions 
the return type of main function can be void or int and this section having two parts declaration part and executable part the declaration part declare all the variables used in the executable part and these two parts must appear between the opening and closing braces and the program execution always begin with the opening curly braces and end with the closing curly braces and all the statements in the declaration and executable part and with the semicolon then sub program section the sub program section contain all the user defined functions that are called in the main function the user defined functions are generally placed immediately after the main function when the user defined function is called from the main function the control of the program shift to the called function and when it encounter a return statement it returns to the main function let's see the example for the basic structure of c program first of all documentation section documentation section is optional in c program single line comments can be written using two forward slashes that is double slash example program in c language this is a single line comment we can also create multi line comment by using slash star which is followed by comment lines then star slash the link section under link section we can include the header files in the program stdio.h is a header file for standard input output functions then define the symbolic constants in the program with the help of hash define hash define sum zero the hash define is a preprocessor compiler directive used to create symbolic constants in the program now in this case we have created a constant sum which is assigned a value of zero and the constant sum will be replaced by zero throughout our code wherever we use then global declaration section we have declared to global variables a and b value 10 is assigned to a and value 20 is assigned to b then declare a user defined function void is a return type of the function and show is the name of the user defined function this is a function declaration function declaration is also known as function prototype then main function section int is a return type and main is a function main function from where program execution begin the c compiler starts execution from the main function then inside the main function we have declare one local variable x and value 20 is assigned to it and then with printer function display the value of x percentage d is the format specifier for int type value x is the local variable local variables are those which are declare inside the main function then call the show function when this function call control transfer to the definition of show function actual code is written inside the function definition and inside the definition of show function with printer function display the values of global variables a and b and after the execution of this code first of all value of x is to be printed onto the screen x is 20 after that when show function call control transfer to the definition of show function then printer function display the value of a and b value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 then rules to write a c program every c statement must end with the semicolon and c is a case sensitive language that is upper case and lower case characters are different generally the statements are typed in lower case only and c statement can be written in one line or it can split into multiple lines and braces must always match upon pair every opening braces must have a 
matching closing braces and every c program start with the main function these are the basic rules to write a c program